Hello everyone, this is Lomi and today I'm sharing some clips of me making the scabbard for Rune's sword. The first thing to do is make a pattern for the lining. I'll be using craft foam as a support for the interior, because the smooth surface of the foam will help keep the edges of the vinyl wrap on the blade from catching on anything. I trace around the sword for a base pattern and enlarge it a little bit to make sure it'll go all the way around the blade. This is the pattern for the lining. I'll make a second pattern a little bigger than that to be the exterior. I trace the lining pattern onto foam, cut it out, and tape the pieces together to test the fit. It's a little big, so I'll have to shave a bit off the edges. Once the foam is cut, I mark and cut the vinyl for the exterior. Looks like that'll be a good fit. I'll sew it together with a quarter inch seam allowance, then even up the edges by trimming them. Once I flip the sheath right side out, I work the foam lining pieces inside a little at a time. Next is embellishment. I've already glued on a few straps and things, but now I'll need to rivet on some loops for a belt to go through. I put on a couple so I have a choice for positioning the sheath at his hip or on his back. Once they're put in place, I glue the caps on the tip of the sheath. I made these metal pieces by wrapping bits of the cream vinyl I used for the crisscrossing strap with the metallic vinyl I used on the sword. They aren't as flexible as I thought they'd be, so they leave a little gap I fill in with some scrap vinyl. It's not perfect, but using hot glue means I can peel it off and redo it in the future if I decide to. One of the design elements I wanted to preserve was a slit in one side of the sheath, so he could realistically draw his sword when it's on his back. A real scabbard could be made out of wood and reinforced with metal to ensure it kept its shape, but that's not going to happen with foam and vinyl so I add a buckle along the slit to hold the gap closed.
Just to be sure the loops on the back are sturdy, I add a few more rivets. Then I make the shoulder strap for the sheath using more vinyl and rivets. And now the scabbard is done. Here's a closer look. I've never made anything like this, so I'm pretty happy with this for a first try. I may make one out of better materials in the future, but for now this is all I need. So after the better part of a year, Rune's customization project is now completely done. The weather here has been wet, so I haven't had a chance to set up a proper photo shoot yet, but check back soon for a glimpse at the final complete project. Thanks for watching. Bye.